Hey what's up people it is your guy here DJ Cliff welcome again to this wonderful channel if you're new please consider subscribing down below and please don't forget to like and comment on this video below I've not yet done this video about the cross digital application for some time and today I'm just going to go straight to you and show you from the start to the end of this cross DJ application and this tutorial will able to know how to scratch using this cross uh, this cross fader and using these jog wheels so let's first go to the settings. Uh, this button, it's the one which will toggle. Go to the advanced settings right there. Then uh, the, uh, the the best uh, decoder you'll use in the cross digital application, just use it, the, the default decoder. And then leave it to the air audio. This is the best audio decoder. But if you, if, you, if you have any problem with the decoder, you can also set in your system or the open SL. It just matters with the hardware you're using on your phone. So that's good for that and then the color themes i usually prefer using uh, the default colors which is blue on the left and orange on the right and then the jog cover mode what this uh implies is that when you load your song for example right there you see this jog wheel is fully decorated with the uh the art artist impression on this part so if you want to set it maybe to the center mode, just come again to this section, the jog cover mode, uh, set it to the center cover or the monochromat monochromatic cover. Just what uh, is best for you, just set it. The media cover retrieval, you use covers from the Android media base and the audio file tags. It is just simple as that. The protection seek and load, what this implies is that whenever you want to load your song for example on the same jog wheel it's going to prevent you from doing that and it might ask you a question so let me just uh reduce uh volume from this side and then i'm going to play this side and i'm going to pretend like i'm going to load another song on the same track you see what it does it tells you um trying to load the track while another playing is uh playing in this player so you just say don't load so that's what it implies then let's continue going to these settings of ours. Uh, we were on which side? Protection second load. The end warning time, you can just set the one which you want. For example, if it's 30 seconds, just set 30 seconds and 45 seconds. But let it just be the 30 seconds which it came with it. The bit addition is, I mean, you can see right here, it allows bit grid and BPM to be edited manually. So this is the advanced user, like you can see right there. They even told you that. So let's go to this bit grid edition. Let's just go step by step. For example, let me load another song which maybe might be having problems with uh, uh, the trucks. So like this song has already loaded, but I edited it recently. It was kind of this side on this point right here. So this, it was the way it was. For example, you might have a song which looks as this. So if you want this song to be well aligned with this white line, you just come to this button you see right here, then tap it, then tap this first button right here, then make sure this uh, bit is well aligned to the white line. You can just do it manually, just like this, then uh, tap this button you see right here. You can see these grills were changing then tap Q to align to that. So you can see it is well sorted out. Yes, it is well sorted out. Then uh, let's continue in our settings. We were on which side, the bit green edition. So the waveform zoom, just leave it unticked. The waveform progressive band, leave lots of settings, just leave it the way it is. The master limiter, just leave it the way it is. And the other ones, leave the way it is. So if you are somebody who is so much on scratches, you can come on this section in the cross fader mode. You can see the cut, center or opposite. The auto fade automatically fades when tapping on boundaries. So for me, I usually prefer using the auto fade because I usually do less scratches. And uh, I usually prefer good uh, or low scratches on my mixes because some people usually don't tolerate lots of scratches in uh, maybe the mixes. You can use cut if you want to do the scratches. So it just matters with your test. Then uh, crossfader jump, uh, tap jump, you can just leave it to center. I don't know what opposite means. So leave it to normal uh, MP4 or OGG if you want to record in your OGG or MP4. Fair time, just leave it the way it is. So let's go back 
to the most uh, these settings we see right here so uh, the contrast is very also important when it comes to scratches so let me just go and load another song for example just extended song for example let me use this one let it load then uh, let's try we already unticked the quantize isn't it so the key look please make sure you leave it the way it is because it's not good to change also the rhythm of the song so leave the key lock the way it is if you're the professional mixer then uh, let's try to mix this and see the differences in this so let me just record this for the purpose of the quality of the video and i'm going to uh, hot cue this so uh where's the hot cues there it is so let's try and play this Sorry, let me use another track. There might be a problem with this song when it comes to the back scratch. I mean the back scratch because I usually use echo under this section. So let me use this for the good example. So let me align it that way. And I'm going to hot cue that. So let's try and listen to this. Right. So if you've been keen enough, you can see it's hard for me to touch this Q button after I've done my back scratch effect on the cross DJ just because I was not using the quantize button. Now let's quantize this and see the difference in that. So let me just again try to replay this track. So guys, I'm really trying to balance all this, but you can see uh, when I tap the quantize button, it's easy for me to touch the Q button after I've done the back scratch effect on this section, on the right section of my jog wheel. So that's the good thing about the quantize. And then uh, uh, before we finish with the settings of today, just go to this section right here, and then you need to arrange these files from the descending order. So just come to this title and then press the BPM, then touch again the BPM to start from uh, the biggest going toward the lowest. And you, you should always do that after you've already analyzed your song. So leave a song to analyze so that you can at least understand uh, when you see the BPMs from 109 going towards, if you're having maybe hip hop, it will start from the 140s going downwards. So this is the best way you can try analyzing your songs before you start scratching then uh, now the important thing you've learned about the bit grid edition you've also learned about the quantize what it does so make sure you this one is ticked on you don't leave that way and then the kilo let it just be the way it is now let me just uh, show you the scratch patterns you might choose in your cross digit application this is just illustration and for me I usually prefer using this section and i've seen some sorry I've seen some people using this side. So, you know, every person is different. So for me, I usually prefer using this side because it, give me, uh, it gives me uh, the most uh, likable uh, waveform interaction. So let me try to do some scratches and let's see how it's going to be looking like.
then we mash up the place. Party, party, party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. Party of the party, then we mash up the place. What's up, y'all? Oh, yeah. So guys, I hope you've learned something about this cross DJ application, how to interact with the cross feathers, how to interact with the beat grid and how to scratch on um, that that way you see. There's so many styles of scratching that those who do back scratch on these. And then uh, just the most basic things you really need to know is all I've showed you from the start of this video. Please give the thumbs up by subscribing and commenting and let's meet to the next video. And guys, I'm sorry for not playing the full video. It's because of the copyright claims usually, which I usually get every time. And sometimes it blocks this video from uh, viewers to see them. And that's why I really don't like using them. And it's because, again, there was a time I was almost banned from using YouTube. So you, I'll beg your pardon. And uh, there's no problem with that. Anyway, please subscribe. Let's meet in the next video.